guys i am back today with my fall essentials and favorites video i am combining my fall essentials with my october favorites so if you would like to see what i think is essential for fall and what were my favorites for the month of october please continue to watch with accessories i really love a tote for fall this is j crew um, this tote is by J. Crew. I'm not sure the name of it, but I'll make sure to put it down below. It's 100% leather. It is gorgeous. Um, I will note that the corners can wear on this bag, so um, so I don't totally abuse it. I stopped taking it, and I'll show you what my favorite next bag is and my um, October favorites. But I really love this bag. It's just really just an open tote, and I really love it. And one of the reasons why I love it because I feel like you can just throw your essentials in there for fall like your hat if you need one or a scarf which is my next favorite is a light I have everything piled up on the floor right here but it's a light scarf I love scarves and especially in the fall and winter even in the spring but I like in the fall how um, this extra layer can add warmth to your outfit or you know to you also tie your outfit together especially with um, a leather jacket which I'll men mention next but this is one of my favorite scarves I got it last season at Forever 21 and it's really big and cozy I just really love it. one of my favorite ways to wear it is like this um, just simple or to wrap it around backwards like this and make it like messy so I really love that look like this um, and sometimes I even tuck in one side just to make it look real um, carefree and um, extra warmth around my neck so I really love this scarf and I also love plaid for the fall I love plaid I also love this scarf it's an old scarf by um, Vera Bradley from Kohl's it's just gorgeous and it goes perfect with the all black outfit and I'm going to show you next my next favorite is a black moto jacket. I love this jacket. It's by Victoria's Secret. And unfortunately, Victoria's Secret no longer carries clothes um, in their catalog or online. They're strictly, um, they're strictly selling underwear and loungewear in their pink line and then some of their scents like um, body washes and stuff but they've no longer carry clothing like extensive clothes like dresses pants and some of the things that they were known for like their um moto jackets but this moto jacket i love because this moto jacket i love because it's really nice and thin and it's just the perfect moto jacket it's great for layering and it looks really good with almost anything so i've been wearing this a lot this fall so I really love this piece and it looks great with this tote um, when you're carrying it um, on your arm or on your shoulder. I just really love it. Next thing I wanted to talk about is um, text or typographic sweatshirts. I love them. I love wearing um, funny sayings or something that is like an oxymoron to what your personality really is so this one is from banana republic and this one says smart cookie <laughs> um i don't know i just really love it and it's a good conversation starter i was on a business trip and i wore this like while i was traveling and the woman at starbucks was really she thought it was really funny and she put on my cup smart cookie so i don't know i think it's just really cute and most people like it they don't really take it like saying that you're smarter than everyone else because i don't think that my next item is this waxed long vest I really love vests too. I like have a lot of vests in my wardrobe, but I really get a lot of wear out of them in the fall and winter time. More specifically in the fall because you can get away with just layering items on top of your outfit, you know, to make you warm. It's just a good layering piece to have, especially in the fall because you know how in the mornings it's cool, but as the day gets goes on it gets warmer so this piece is from last season too sorry guys but it's just amazing it's from banana republic and they probably have something similar but i'm not sure if it's the wax denim and the really great thing about this piece is that it's blue and it's just amazing i love it the more you wear it the more leather it looks so it's just really amazing i I love and I love like that it looks like a utility vest with the pockets and everything and I wore this a lot last fall and winter so it's another fall essential for me for sure so I'm not traditionally a sneakers type of girl like you know how I see youtubers on here that 
uh, do sneaker hauls and you know that are really into Harachis I think that's what they're called I don't even know but I like like fashion sneakers sorry my hair is just getting on my nerves I just curled it and it's just out of control these are Rebecca Minkoffs and I got them at a steal at TJ Maxx I just love the gold detailing on the the rivets and then the tie ends right here i guess that's what they're called i don't even know and then i love the back that they're zippered hopefully you can see that and then i love that they're blue me uh, my daughter i have to <laughs> i'm rotating these with her right now because she's wearing the same size shoe as me currently but i don't think she'll be for much longer and these kind of run small so the name of these I'll put them down below but I'm normally a eight or eight and a half and Rebecca Minkoff not in her shoes these are the first pair of shoes I've purchased by her but these are a nine and I can wear them they are a little big but they're not like flopping up and down my feet so I think they run about a half size too small so they're probably like more closely to Italian sizing but I just love them and I love the zipper too so I really love like shoes like these. My last item is a fall essential is this bag charm. I just love bag charms. I think you've probably seen them on my bags before, especially if you follow me on Instagram. I have pink ones, um, mixed color ones, ones that I hang off my keychains for work. But this one is from Last Call, and this one has I love the detailing right here with the rhinestones, and it's at Neiman Marcus. So if you have a Last Call in your area, um. Be sure to check them out. It just adds a pop of pizzazz to your bags. Like I put it on this tote. And it just makes it look so pretty. Even though I like that it's the same color. Like the monochromatic scheme. I'm going to switch now into my October favorites. And this item I love wearing it on this bag. And I've been loving this bag for the month of October. With the latter part of it. And this is Alexander Ray. Alexander Wang Rocky bag. It's just gorgeous. I love it. Um, I love the gold detailing and the studs on the bottom. I will be doing a updated what's in my bag video soon. I know I posted one like about a month ago, which has been very popular on my channel lately. So I'll post the updated one for you guys with this bag because um, I want to also give my thoughts about the bag. My next favorite item, if you um, have watched my vlog video from um last week that i posted about my birthday is this is the louis vuitton large agenda i love this agenda oh my god i cannot say how much i adore it so i use it both for business and for my personal um like finances list that i make and then um fashion things if you want to see a what's in my large agenda video please thumbs up this video and i would like to get up to 50 likes so please like my video especially this one so i know that you watch my videos and like them i know a lot of my ride or die chicks that um support me i really appreciate it but i know i have some new subscribers so thank you for watching and um i will do a what's inside my agenda video on this one my next favorite item is this Hemp's, I guess that's what it's called. Lotion is Vanilla Cream Brulee, and I purchased this at Marshalls, but I have seen it at TJ Maxx, and it smells so good. It smells just like cream brulee with a touch of vanilla, not that the vanilla is overpowering, because I really don't like vanilla by itself in scents like lotions or perfumes. Like it, I don't like it to be the only note. So this is really nice and this is very luxurious because it's nice and thick and it really holds. A little bit goes a long way. I have, I've had this for a little over a month and I'm still like look how much I've used. So I love that. The next um, body care item that I want to talk about is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. This moisturizer is amazing because you put it on while you're wet. So basically once you finish your bath or shower before you dry off you apply this product and it locks in hydration at skin's peak moisture moment for luminous skin and it really does make your skin luminous once you use it and rub it in so basically you pat dry after you apply this like you rub it into your skin and then you pat dry with your towel and i really love this i got it 
first in the influencer box so that's my disclaimer i was sent the first bottle for free to try out but i love this so much that i purchased another one the first bottle that was sent to me was a manoy scent and this one is a refreshing coconut oil scent because i love coconut so i really love this i love this brush it is by the vintage company sorry and it's a little dirty because i use it today but i use it specifically for blush i especially blush that has kind of like a highlighter with it to plot to apply on the highest points on my cheeks or to apply cream products with it because it's a dual fiber brush but it's really big and it's called a powder brush and i got this at tj maxx as well you can probably still find them but i know they sell the vintage company products now at ulta but i'm not sure if they sell the brushes i don't know what took me so long to get the beauty blender i have the pro beauty blender here this is the black one and i love this for applying foundation for blending out my concealer and this one I used it this morning so it still hasn't um, dried down it's a little bit damp but I just keep it in the container I put the cap on the bottom and then I keep it like this and that's how I store my beauty blender so I really love this pro this item for applying makeup and concealer or blending it out I know it has some love and hate and I'm still trying to figure out like the way to use it the best and it's the Marc Jacobs I'm not sure the whole name of this product is the Marc Jacobs foundation I think it's called uh, all remarkable foundation and this is in the cocoa deep and I think this is the darkest shade it comes in and this you have to shake it up and I mean a little bit of this product goes a long way and I think the main thing is that people are using too much of this because it does create a white cast to your skin which I don't understand why when you use it alone um if you look at I, i'll put a link here but like two vlogs ago when i was in dc to meet my sister for lunch i used it and it did make like in direct sunlight it made my skin look like white cat had a white cast to it but i noticed that when i mix it with the foundation it doesn't so this i really love it's the clinique um stay matte or free makeup and i really love this makeup i'm in clove 28 which is deep and I just bought it I brought it with my birthday gift card from some four and I've been wanting to try this out for a really long time and this is $24 compared to this which is I think 60 something maybe I forget what the price of it was I almost took this back but I didn't so I've been combining the two so I'm still playing with how much to use you know for equal parts to make it the perfect match so I know on camera I look like I'm not the correct match but when you see me in real life I am I think it's because of the lights so I really love this foundation and I did get this one not in the darkest shade because I have oily skin and anytime I use foundation it oxidizes on my skin so usually I have to go up a shade because if not it'll be too dark so I really love this one on its own it's not full coverage now this but it has great coverage this is full coverage and I've never been a full coverage fan until I tried this foundation it's a gorgeous full coverage foundation with the exception of the white cast so Marc Jacobs if you could do something about that that would be awesome but the good thing about this is that you can use it with anything like um, BB creams another foundation um, you can also use it with your moisturizer so it has like a lot of great uses uses to it and you probably can thin it out a little bit if you do not like the full coverage yeah i'm just trying to make sure i have three more favorites and this one is the laura geller laura geller gilded honey baked gelato swirl illuminate illuminator say that 50 times fast but anyway that's what it looks like and it is gorgeous it is um it's similar to any of the current raved about illuminators and it's really cheap it's like twenty dollars or twenty four dollars and it's at Ulta I really think it's gorgeous like look at that it is beautiful it's beautiful as an inner corner highlight um eyebrow highlight um just a gorgeous highlight it's just beautiful I mean I did that pretty heavily swatched you probably like I mean that's like how I probably dug in it too much but that's what it looks like 
and I just think it's beautiful. I think it, it would suit a lot of different skin tones. My next favorite is this. I don't know. I was sleeping under a rock. Why I didn't want to try that? Because I, I really love my LA Girls Pro Concealer so much. So I've been cheating on that with this guy. And it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Cafe Cafe in the number 30. And it's a gorgeous um, concealer. It does have a weird smell which for some reason a lot of Maybelline products do you know I'm not a fan of their, the smell of their lipsticks but this concealer is gorgeous luckily you don't smell it when you put it on your, your face and I just really like it it really has the same consistency as the Pro Girl Concealer by LA Girls and um, it's always compared to the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer I don't have that but with this guy, I don't think I need to purchase it. So I really love this concealer. My final favorite for the month of October is this ColourPop Liquid Lipstick. And it is in LAX. And it's just a gorgeous color. I had it on in my last vlog. And I just love it. I know some people don't like the consistency of these liquid lipsticks but I think they're great especially for five dollars now because it's five dollars the packaging does do this on you which I'm not a fan of but I think you know most products don't really last if you're using them a lot with the packaging um, but that's what it looks like it hasn't dried down yet but it's just a gorgeous aubergine or um, dark brown color and I just think it's gorgeous for fall even in the summer, I was rocking this because I loved it so much. Because it's not too vampy once it sets. But the thing I would have to say is, anytime you're using a matte found um, a matte lip product, no matter if it's Mac, Anastasia, Beverly Hills, because I have that that one too, um, Besso by Stila, which I have on now on my lips, all of them, you have to use a conditioner on your lips or either a lip primer I use the MAC um, lip primer for my lips I really love that um, it's like my holy grail product I've been through two tubes of it and I always apply that before applying any lipstick or liquid matte lipstick by them or um, any of the people that any other companies I just mentioned so I um, don't have a problem with that now the only thing I will say is that because it stays on your lips reapplication is kind of difficult because um, you're applying the lipstick over top of like a older layer so I just will wipe all of it off and reapply it because it it does get a little grimy on the separate second application like after you eat or something um, like for your lunch or dinner but just to see if you can see that it's drying down. I just think they pretty much all do the same thing. It just depends on what color you have want and if that company offers it in the color that you really want. Those are my favorites for the month of October along with my fall essentials. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back soon with the video. Thank you. Bye.